Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of Civilization VI A to Z, where I will go through each of the civilizations one by one and provide thoughts, strategy, and rankings. Today, we will take a look at Arabia, which is a very versatile civilization that is able to use its religion to push for any victory type. Arabia's leader is Saladin, and his bonus comes in two parts. The first part is that the worship building for Arabia's religion can be purchased by any player at one-tenth of the usual faith cost. For Arabia, this is a great way to guarantee that every city has a worship building. I'm not entirely sure how this reduced cost for other players really helps Arabia in any way, but maybe this was just put in as a way to kind of keep it in check in some way or kind of keep some balance there. It is very important for you to ensure that you get a good building with your religion. There's limited buildings out there and you want to make sure you're able to get your religion early enough so that you can pick the building that best suits your victory type. The second part of Saladin's bonus is that he gets 10% extra science, faith, and culture in his Arabian cities that have his worship building. This is an incredibly strong bonus that is relatively easy to obtain. Again, his uh, buildings are dirt cheap and all you really need is a holy site in all of your cities and you're gonna be able to knock this out pretty quickly and be able to get those bonuses very, very early on. Because you're getting a bonus to three different categories, this really plays into the versatility of Arabia a lot. The overall scores that I would give this bonus for Saladin are Domination, I would give it a six. Uh, that's primarily because you're gonna get such a huge science boost, you're really gonna be able to push your uh, tech to the next level and really be able to have advanced troops compared to everybody else around you. Plus the faith boost will really help you be able to buy more military units with faith if you take that building in your, uh, your government plaza. Science, I would give it a 10. Culture, I'd give it a 10. And religion, I'd give it a 10. Just tens all the way down the line that 10 percent boost for all three of those categories is really really going to help you out a lot arabia's unique civilization ability is called the last prophet arabia automatically receives the final great prophet when the next to the last one is claimed if they have not earned a great prophet already in some ways this is a throwaway bonus it's a good safety blanket since religion is so critical but most of the time you won't want to wait for the last prophet because that will limit what beliefs you can pick up the other part of this bonus is plus one science for each foreign city following Arabia's religion. It's not a game changing bonus necessarily, but it's still a really good one. This means that you'll want to play the religion game even if not going for a religious victory. The overall scores for this bonus are really sixes all across the board, although I will give a bonus point to science um, because of the, uh, the extra science you get for the cities that are following your religion. Um, but the reason for the, the, the kind of the baseline six there is because you could really tailor your religion for any victory type that you want. Now I will point out this is an exclusive score because you're only gonna be able to follow after one of these victory types at a time based on the beliefs that you pick. Arabia's unique unit is called the Mamluk. It replaces the knight and no longer needs iron. It has the same combat strength, movement, and maintenance as a knight. However, it heals at the end of every turn, even if it moves or attacks an enemy unit that turn. This is huge. This, this is incredibly big for Arabia to have. It really means that they're going to be able to win the war of attrition against just about anybody else out there. Personally, I think this is one of the best units in the game. Knights are already very strong for their time period. And again, this one can win that war of attrition. Plus, often iron can be very hard to come by. So being able to not have to rely on that to get these knights out means you can be able to have a lot of these Mamluks running around. The overall score that I would give this unit is just a flat 10 for domination. Again, I personally think this is one of the best units in the game. Arabia's unique infrastructure is the Madrasa. This is a building that's in your campus that replaces the university. It gets plus five science versus the plus four baseline that the university gets. Plus it provides bonus faith equal to the adjacency science bonus of its district. As a science building, this is not amazing. Plus one science per city is only as good as the number of cities you have, but it can be doubled with the right policy card, which, which would be rationalism. Really, this is a religious building. The adjacency boost can really add up with the right policy cards. Both natural philosophy or five-year plan give you a double bonus to your adjacency for your campus, which in this case effectively doubles the faith output as well. Consider putting your campus in the best place and the holy site in the second best, since the campus can double dip the adjacency bonus with the madrasa in there. The overall scores for this bonus are, I would give domination a four because both the faith and science can really help push a domination victory. 
The science, I would also give it a four. I mean, it's it's a university at baseline, but you do get a little bit of a boost. And again, that can be doubled even more with the right policy card. So a four seems like a pretty good spot. Culture, it's a zero. There's nothing here that really helps your culture. Religion, however, I would give it an eight. Being able to double up on that adjacency for that campus district, especially if you put it in the most prime location next to a bunch of mountains or uh, rainforest and things, can really, really help escalate your faith per turn production. Strategy for Arabia. If you're playing as Arabia, it's a good idea to figure out what victory type you would like to go for from the beginning, because it will really dictate what beliefs you pick from your religion. If going for anything other than a religious victory type, it's very important to get an early great profit and not wait for the last profit to proc. The reason for this is because there are limited good beliefs that can help domination, science, or culture victory pushes. There are plenty of good religious focused beliefs though, so it's probably okay to wait for the last profit if going for a religion, but I'd still recommend trying to get one earlier. If you have an opening to go for Stonehenge, it will help every victory type, so go for it. There are far too many religious belief combinations to go over all of them in this video, so here are some tips on each victory type. For domination, go for science or gold beliefs. Production is good too, but a lot of units will come from faith buys, so it's a little bit less critical. Try to get one of the beliefs that gives you plus 10 combat strength, either Crusade or Defender of the Faith, because that's really going to help you out as you're trying to advance out and take other people's cities. Build up your faith engine and go for the Grand Master's Chapel in the Government District to supply your army. If you combo this with Theocracy, it can really help as well. The Grand Master's Chapel is what allows you to use faith to buy land units, unlike what Theocracy was before Rise and Fall. However, the Theocracy bonus still is to give you cheaper faith buys. So combo those together, you're going to have cheaper units and you'll be able to buy them with faith, which is perfect. If you're going for a science victory, go for production or science beliefs. I personally would probably lean a little bit more towards the production side because you're already getting a lot of science elsewhere and production is one of the things you're not getting a lot of bonus of from Arabia. So if you can get one of the beliefs that gives you extra production or even the building that gives you extra production, that could really help in the long run. For example, work ethic can be really good for extra production for the late game spaceports. Alternatively, extra amenities can provide a similar bonus because if your people are happier, they're going to increase the percentage of their production that way as well. If you're going for a culture victory, it's basically mandatory to get the following beliefs. Reliquaries, so that your relics are triple on tourism as well as faith. Cathedrals, so you get the extra slot for religious art. Either lay ministry or world church to get some extra culture. And holy order, especially if you group it with Mont Saint Michel, so you get cheaper apostles and they also give you the religious uh, relic when they die. For a religion victory, honestly, there's just too many good combinations to, to put here. Um, so really just figure out what's going to work best for you either, you know, some of the ones that helps your religion spread faster or farther or things like that. But there's just a lot of good combinations to go for religion. As for which government you should pick, honestly, again, it really depends on what victory type you're going for. As I mentioned before, theocracy can be really good for a uh, domination victory, but it can also be good for a religious victory. Um, any of the other ones can be good for any number of victories. So really pick which victory condition you want to go for and tailor your government picks for that. If you're playing against Arabia, then you should know that his leader agenda is Ayyubid Dynasty. What you really want to do is get his religion to spread to you and build his worship building to make him happy uh, and also make sure you don't have your own religion. Otherwise, take him out early, especially before he gets his Mamluks. As far as victory conditions go for Arabia, pretty much you can go for anything that you want. Because religious beliefs can really supplement and help fuel any victory push, Arabia is one of the most versatile civilizations in the game. Still, unless you get the perfect belief to support a culture victory, you're unlikely to do well there, and overall their bonuses will make a push for science or religion a much easier goal. Their strength and domination is fueled as much by their science and faith as anything because again, you want your science to advance your technology past the other players and you want your faith to help you purchase more units to go against them. Where does Arabia rank? Their overall scores are as follows. For domination, I'm going to give them an 8. Overall, if you can get ahead of the other civilizations in technology and build up a solid faith engine, you can really push to have the strongest military on the map. For science, they get an 8. They get a bonus point here for cohesion as well. They have very solid baseline science boosts that can be made even better with the right religious beliefs. For culture, they're only going to get about a 5 here. It really depends on getting Mont Saint Michel as well as the supporting beliefs to really power through that. It's technically possible, but, but admittedly kind of unlikely that you could push for a culture victory. For religion, they're going to get a 9. They also get a bonus point here for cohesion as well. Religion is Arabia's go-to victory condition and one that they could fall back on fairly easily if one of the above doesn't work out. 
What are your thoughts about Arabia? Did I get it right? Did I miss something? Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And also please give me a thumbs up if you do like this video and want to see more of these. I do plan to keep these going. Next up will be Australia. So I do appreciate you watching and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.